Welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to ask for things. So we're going to need the phrase 주세요, which literally means give me, and it's a polite expression. So to ask for something, to ask someone to give you something, first say the noun, followed by the object marker, and then 주세요. 주세요. 주세요 can be used to anyone who you're not close with and to anyone who's older than you because it's a polite expression. So take a moment to practice by making your own sentences with 주세요 using the vocabulary words that are here in this list. Now let's do a quick review of the adverb 조금, which means a little or kind of. For example, 한국어를 조금 할수 있어요. I can speak a little bit of Korean. In addition to 조금, you might also use 좀, which is an informal and shorter version of 조금. Now, 조금 has the exact same meaning as 좀. So, using 좀, you can also remake that same sentence. 한국어를 좀 할수 있어요. I can speak a little Korean. But 좀 has one more use. When it's used with requests, such as asking someone to give you something with 주세요, the word 좀 can also have a softening effect. It can make your sentence, your request, sound a little bit more polite and a little bit more soft. For example, take these sentences. 물을 주세요. Give me water. Or 물을 좀 주세요. Give me literally a little water or more just naturally, could you give me some water? So you can use 좀 in this way with any sort of command or any sort of request to make it sound a little bit more soft and thereby making the person more likely to want to do it for you. So let's take a look at an example conversation using this concept. This conversation is between James and Jin Young. First, James says, 저기요, 빵을 더 주세요. Give me some more bread. Then Jin Young says, 아, 물도 주세요. Give me some water too. And finally, James says, 김치도 좀 주세요. Could you please also give me some kimchi? 저기요, 빵을 더 주세요. 아, 물도 주세요. 김치도 좀 주세요. Now, before we go, I do have a few notes. And the first one is that 주세요 actually comes from the verb 주다, which is an action verb that means to give. 주세요. The 세요 part at the end is what's known as a honorific ending, and it's a piece of honorific speech. Now, honorific speech has to do with speaking politely to other people, and we'll be talking about that more in detail in a future lesson. In Korean, though, it's always important to be polite, especially when you're asking someone a favor. So that's why we'll use this 세요 ending. And 주세요 is literally a command, and it means give me. So not only are you asking someone to give you something, but you're literally saying, give me. And we'll learn how to use this same grammar form, seo, to make other commands with different verbs in a later lesson. Now, to your close friends who are the same age as you or younger, you're not going to say chuseo because it's polite. Instead, you can say chuo. So you could just say, pizza chuo. Give me pizza. But do not use this with anyone else as it would be very impolite. So in this lesson, we learn how to ask for things with 주세요 as well as how to use 조금 and 좀. So practice today's lesson and I'll see you guys again next time. 그럼 다음에 또 봐.